Hello everybody and welcome back to my cooking channel. I know it has been a while, okay? Uh, sorry about that, but now I'm finally getting around to making the cream potatoes, trying them like I had seen a video of, and now I don't even remember who I seen it doing it. I'm sorry, but I normally, we were all taught to just Fix your cream potatoes, you boil your potatoes, you put mayonnaise, milk, and butter in it. And that's all for cream potatoes. You know, and salt, season it up. But the way I've seen this done, they took two sticks of butter. Although I am making a smaller um, version of potatoes, so I halved everything. So instead of two cup, two, and I said cups, didn't I? Instead of two sticks of butter, I did one stick of butter, but they said melt it until it's brown. And I never in my life even knew that you could do that or why. They say it makes it taste a lot better, so that's what I've done. This is my butter here. I've melted it until it's brown. Okay. I've got my potatoes boiled and mashed here and I'm gonna put it in here the eye is not on but it's sitting on gosh that does not want to rake out of there jeez sorry y'all <laughs> Uh, I was boiling it and melting the butter on the other eye, which I've done turned it off. And this eye this is sitting on is not on. I've just got it sitting here to mix up. Okay. I've got chicken and gravy in the crock pot that's been cooking most of the day. This is my potatoes and melted brown butter. So I am mixing that up. Okay. Again, my husband may not even taste this. That's why I made a smaller version. I know I'm going to like it because I love cream potatoes to begin with. But putting these stuff in it that I really like, and I ain't tried it this way, didn't even know you could make them this way, I know I'm going to love it. But because I'm putting these things in here, my husband probably won't even taste it. He's funny and picky, like a kid. So anyway, then you take, well, you're supposed to take six ounces of cream cheese. So I cut it and got three ounces. If I did my measuring and cutting right on there. I'm not the best straight cutter. Come on. Drop it in there. Alright, so there's that. And then it calls for a cup of sour cream. But I'm doing a half a cup. Because I didn't make a big pot of cream potatoes. Uh... Like I said, my husband don't like sour cream. He don't like cream cheese. So, and I love both. He probably won't even taste it. Okay. Now, you're supposed to do a whole can of evaporated milk, but I'm going to try to do only a half. I don't know why I said try. try. I've got my... Okay, I couldn't get that to open up. I'm going to have to do that. Okay. i got to see where I've got... I think I've got a little more than half, but it'll be fine. Okay, put that in there, and 
Then you just mix it all up. Let me get my pot holder back. This pot don't have its handles anymore. And see, we're used to putting butter and mayonnaise and milk in ours. Well, this has kind of got milk in it. It's got the evaporated milk in it. But, looks like it's going to be on the soupy side. I'm not good with knowing how many potatoes to do for these measurements either. I have the stuff. Lord, what if I'd have went ahead and did the whole of it? It would have been pure deep potato soup, I guess. But maybe the more it sets, the thicker it'll get. But, uh... Still got some lumps in it. But, yeah... We usually put milk, butter, and mayonnaise in ours. This ain't got a bit of mayonnaise. It don't have the regular milk. It has evaporated milk. It does have butter, although differently. We just put butter in it. We don't melt it at all. We just put it in the potatoes and stir it all up, and it melts in there like that. But that was melting potatoes. Uh, I mean, melting potatoes. Lord, how mercy. Y'all, I'm sorry. Melting butter till it turns brown, and I have never done that before either. Y'all, I've got soupy potatoes. I got a potato soup here instead of cream potatoes. I guess I didn't quite do enough potatoes. I'm wondering if it's going to thick up any. Oh, well, I won't mind it in a soup. It just won't be like put gravy over it out of the chicken like I was thinking but anyway so I've got it stirred up here and mixed up I do want to do a little taste test with y'all let me get another smaller clean spoon I know right now it may be real hot. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. I love that. Yes, I'm going to love it. All right, guys. Hope y'all enjoyed this. That's all I have for you now, so I'm gone. Bye.